I'm Melinda Hill, and I have a comedy show called Tiger Lily. I found an alley out back where I asked people what they wanted to be when they grew up. This is All Grows Up. Please welcome Wayne Fetterman. It's nice to be here. So this is the pre-interview, right? No, no, this is the thing. This is the whole thing? Yeah, this is the deal. Okay, so when do we start? Uh, we already started. Done. Let's start. Okay. Wayne, what did you want to be what? when you grew up? Are you saying when I was a little, little kid or when I wanted to have a career? Whatever. Well, what, as which, soon whichever, as I found out that stand-up comedy... We're not like fact checkers. We're not going to go back and be like, um... I still use Ask Jeeves. I have not jumped to Google yet. Do you know about S. Jeeves? He's no, this, and I don't want to know. Oh, he's this phenomenal guy. He's a butler who also knows everything in the world. Okay. You don't know S. Jeeves? Fair Are enough. you Alta Vista? I don't know mm -hmm. what language you're speaking. All right, I'm sorry. I know Chula Vista is a street in Los Angeles, and I wouldn't ask it for anything. So anyway, as soon as I found out that stand-up comedy was a career, I wanted to do it. Like, I didn't even know it was a career when I was a kid, because there was no stand-up shows on television and I wasn't allowed to stay up to watch Ed Sullivan, so I didn't see all of those stand-ups. And then when I found out, I was like, oh, this is incredible. And then a lot of teachers encouraged me to do it. Wayne, yes. how did you get from a, being an aspiring comedian to being a full blown? What just happened? <laughs> it's my new nail polish. What's wrong with her? Wayne. <laughs> Are you drying <laughs> your nails? <laughs> to being a full blown comedian and head writer of every show in well, comedy. first of all, uh, I like that you use full blown in something other than AIDS. Well, I don't, I don't know. I just because uh, I was a funny guy, people would hire me to write for them. Other comedians would hire me to write for them, and at then what, Jimmy. Pa at what point have you? Why been... are you yelling? I'm right here. You're right. What is wrong? Is she okay? Thank you. Right here. Could not be. I mean, I'm almost intimate. It's very close. You look like my brother right now. Ah. Uh. That's the best compliment. Other comedians would hire me, and then I love it. the main thing was- Why'd they hire you though? There was something that happened. I don't know, they just wanted like, you seem like you would be able to punch up something, and then that led to something. But Jimmy Fallon, I know you've never heard of him. I've heard of him. Was opening for me on the road. So I started writing for him, and that led to me working with him. So you guys did a bunch of shows together with your I traveling know, band? I know, And he just brought me in to launch the show. He was like, Wayne, I don't know what I'm doing. I've never hosted a show before. Will you be there just to be a funny guy to bounce stuff off of? And I ended up like running the monologue room like that. There was it was more than that, but so uh, so I was like, yeah, I'll absolutely do that. But I have my own trajectory, obviously. I don't know if I pronounced that word correctly. Trajectory, I think it's correct. <laughs> well, now you said it wrong, so you have no. <laughs> what would you tell aspiring comedy writers? I would say, the more specific your goal is the easier it is to achieve for example let's say you want to write on modern family that's a television show i know you're not familiar with it but it's a show popular show for the 90s it's actually on right now but that's close it, it was a decade and it is on in a decade so you're, you're close if you want to write on modern family there's only about there's maybe a hundred people that can help you get that job if you want to be a comedy television writer there's 10,000 people you would need to contact. So the more specific, I'm gonna say it one more, you're looking at me like I'm talking crazy, but I'm gonna say it one more time. The more specific your goal, the easier it is to achieve. I love it. You Thank love you. it. Thank you. You're welcome. How does one find that specificity? Well, I think you just pick your- Ask Chiefs.